What's up everybody, Stella here. Next year is already jam-packed with brand new video games, and some of the most anticipated ones are modern remakes of beloved classics. Here are three we're especially excited for. And then a message on how you can be safe this holiday season from NHTSA. Presented by NHTSA. <laughs> Fans of deep space survival horror have been eating pretty good lately. If the Dead Space spiritual successor, the Callisto Protocol, wasn't enough, the original Dead Space is also getting a full modern overhaul. The original Dead Space was released in 2008, developed by now defunct Visceral Games, and follows engineer Isaac Clarke on a search and rescue mission aboard the USG Ishimura, which is of course infested with nightmarish creatures called necromorphs, which can only be killed through some gruesome dismemberment. The remake, which has been handled by EA Motive, is an obvious top-to-bottom visual upgrade, but it keeps the original game's proverbial bones and guts intact. But it adds some brand new bones and guts in a literal sense. A new system called peeling gives the necromorphs significantly more detailed anatomy, which makes lopping off their arms and legs and spiky tendril things even more gross and brutal. Sick. Thankfully, the wait for the Dead Space remake isn't too long, and it'll hit PS5, Series X and S, and PC on January 27th. Really, it's a killer time to be a survival horror fan, and one of the all-time greats is also getting a gruesome glow-up, Resident Evil 4. This is yet another rescue mission gone sideways, this time Leon Kennedy in search of the president's daughter, who has been kidnapped by parasite-infected cultists residing in the rustic Spanish countryside. The original RE4 is somewhat divisive as it leaned more heavily into action than its survival horror predecessors. That said, it revolutionized the third-person shooter genre and is widely considered one of the best games ever. It's already been given an HD remaster and has been ported to nearly every system possible, including a full VR retooling on MetaQuest last summer. But the remake looks to be more than just a fresh coat of paint. Capcom's last two RE makes gives us some idea on what to expect. Stunning visuals thanks to the RE engine, modernized controls, quality of life improvements, and some subtle changes here and there that longtime fans will appreciate. It's very possible some portions of the original RE4 will be cut out, as it's a pretty massive game, but based on what we've seen so far, what's there has been lovingly brought up to current standards. That hits PS5, PS4, Series X slash S, and PC on March 24th. Finally, one of the most anticipated video game remakes of all time was Final Fantasy VII. And unfortunately, it's still not completely out yet. Thankfully, Chapter 2, or rather FF7 Rebirth, is slated for release sometime next year. The entire first game took place in the futuristic Citadel megacity of Midgar, and concluded right around the part in the original game where players are turned loose to explore the larger overworld. Of course, the remake also proved that it wasn't shy about making some changes to the source material. So where we're headed next is anyone's guess. Supposedly, the full FF7 remake will be a trilogy of games. The first chapter released in April of 2020, but since then, we've also gotten the Intergrade side story and a remake of the FF7 PSP spin-off Crisis Core, which released a couple of weeks ago. It'll be interesting to see if Square Enix continues this pattern, sprinkling in some supplementary content between main installments. No release date for Rebirth as of right now, but in the meantime, we've got the brand new Final Fantasy 16 to look forward to, which hits PS5 on June 22nd. And finally, the year is almost over, meaning tons of New Year's parties and celebrations. I'm excited to spread some holiday cheer and set some new goals for 2023, like exploring the stars in the latest RPG in outer space and customizing my ship to become the best pirate in a Caribbean adventure. However, if you are planning on celebrating the new year, all of us here at IGN are reminding you to be safe and drive sober. Otherwise, you risk letting down your friends and family, paying up to $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and other expenses, or worse, injuring or killing someone. NHTSA reminds you it's never worth it to drink and drive. Always plan ahead if you go out drinking. Designate a sober driver or call a ride service. Drive sober or get pulled over. So there you have it. Like I said, these are just a few of the remakes we're most excited about. And it's not even all of them. Silent Hill 2, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Splinter Cell, Prince of Persia, and Lollipop Chainsaw are all getting new gen overhauls sometime in the future. If you want to look at more games out in 2023, check out our massive 
though not completely comprehensive, roundup of the big releases we know are coming out sooner than later. Some of these are even new ideas, not just rehashes of stuff we played in high school. Imagine that. Anyway, for the latest on games, new or old, you're in the right place, IGN.